Hello everyone and welcome to a, another kind of unboxing video. As promised, we are going to look at how difficult it is to get into one of these. What's the quality on this card? And is it really worth it to even get anything from this company? Company is Gold Standard Grading. Sorry if you own the company, just not particularly impressed. Now, if I was a little more gentle with this case, it probably wouldn't have cracked and I could easily get this card out. Number one problem. PSA cases do not do this so easily. Okay, so now we know I can't fake this card, obviously. But let's put our pieces over here, and I'll show you why this card is not Gem Mint 10. So if you just look closely at this card, you will see there are several flaws with it that would make this not a gem mint card came with whitening on these corners in a gem mint 10 case all this here the corners one i think one was round but there's clipping on this corner they aren't rounded there's a lot of issues with the actual quality of the card itself. My honest opinion, this would be like a PSA 7 at best. So just a forewarning. Just because you see a card say graded 10 gem mint does not mean it is gem mint. Sometimes they can be very far from gem mint, just like this one. Maybe the gold standard grading company should raise their standards just a little bit. As a quick comparison, let's clear this up a little bit. We will recycle this, don't worry. Let's see what a card looks like that got an eight from PSA. The corners are well and rounded. It's off center to the bottom left. So it's a little thicker on this border and this border than this border and this border. Let's flip it to the back. I see no whitening on any of the edges of this card. Very well rounded corners, just off center. And there may be some surface issues, maybe a scratch that made it an eight but probably not. So you can see this card looks nearly perfect and it only got an eight. Let's check out another respected grading company. Beckett or BGS as you'll hear. Beckett Grading Services, Beckett or BGS. You will hear that quite a bit. No clipping that we can see anywhere on these corners. Very well centered on the back. 
and it's a 9.5. This is a gem mint card. This is what a gem mint card should look like. Rounded corners, centering maybe off a little bit on the front here. I can see it's a little bit off, which maybe knocked it down to the 9.5 from a 10. But just so you're aware, this is what a gem mint card looks like graded. This card doesn't even have rounded corners. and it's got chipping all over the back. Don't trust discount grading services. And because this was promised as a follow-up to this video, don't trust mystery box cards ever. Just go buy Pokemon packs and enjoy the mystery of what's in the Pokemon packs themselves. Who knows? Maybe you will pull yourself an actual gem mint Charizard. Thank you guys for watching. We'll do a few more informational videos like this in the future when it comes to singles, graded cards, booster boxes, and the like. Keep a lookout for our other informational videos, namely the Pokedex videos. I have a lot of fun making those and we'll keep those going as often as we possibly can. Thank you for watching. I hope you all have a great week.